Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start the chapter comparing quantities. In this video, we shall compare the numbers using ratios, using fractions, and using percentage. Ratio is one of the tools for comparing two quantities. Let us take an example to understand how ratio can be used for comparing two quantities. Say in a class there are 10 girls and 20 boys. Then we can say that the ratio of girls is to boys is equal to 10 is to 20 or 1 is to 2 and that means that corresponding to each girl there are two boys in that particular class Fraction is more widely used for comparing two quantities. Let us consider same example of girls and boys. Then if we try to find out girls by boys, we get 10 by 20 that is equal to 1 by 2. Hence we can say that number of girls is half the number of boys. We can also compare the girls and the boys in the same class in another way. We can say that number of boys to number of girls is equal to 20 is to 10 or in terms of fraction we would say boys by girls is equal to 2 by 1 actually it's 20 by 10 and on solving we will get 2 by 1 and that this would employ that number of boys is double the number of girls boys are double the number of girls so what we are actually doing is we are comparing two things that is boys is to girls similarly we can compare anything maybe fruits in the basket say there are 20 apples and 5 oranges then we can compare the number of apples is to number of oranges or number of oranges is to apples we just now tried to understand the comparison using ratio and fractions we can also do this by using percentage let us try how to compare two things using percentage. Let's take another example. In a basket there are two types of fruits say 20 apples and 5 oranges. And now we want to compare the quantity of apples and oranges. To try, try and understand the comparison of percentage, let us first calculate the total number of fruits in the basket. So total number of fruits in the basket is equal to 20 plus 5 that is 20 apples and 5 oranges that is equal to 25 fruits. 
calculate now we calculate the percentage of oranges in the basket to calculate that we have percentage of oranges in the basket would be 5 out of 25 multiplied by 100 if you solve it it comes out to be 20 percent so we compare the 20 percent of the fruit in the basket is oranges and that means that remaining would be apples so the percentage of apples would be 100-20 would be equal to 100 minus 20 that is equal to 80 percent hence we can compare that in the basket 20 percent are oranges and 80 percent of the fruit are apples let's start with question one first thing that has to be calculated is the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys in the class that is we have to calculate girls is to boys ratio that would mean that we have to calculate the number of boys in the class and for that we would need the total number of students in the class which we don't know so let us start by assuming that let the total number of students be x. We also know that 60% out of X are girls that is given in the question. Therefore, we will write it mathematically as 60% of X is equal to 18 notice that in the question it is given that girls are 18 in number now let's try and find the value of x to calculate x we will cross multiply and get 18 multiply by 100 whole divide by 60 on sol solving this we will get 30 that means total number of students is equal to 30 so now we have that number of students in the class are 30 out of which girls are 18 which is given in the question and the remaining students would be boys so number of boys would be 30 minus 18 which is equal to 12 and now we are in a position to calculate the ratio of girls is to boys that is ratio girls boy boys is equal to 18 over 12 and that comes out to be 3 is to 2 hence the ratio is 3 is to 2 let's try and solve the second part of the same question which says 
that we have to find the cost per head if two teachers are also going with the class. What does that mean? That we have to calculate the cost per person. Cost per person. And for that, we will first calculate the total cost of the trip. First of all, let us calculate the total number of persons who had gone for the trip. So total persons who had gone for the trip are 18 girls plus 12 boys plus 2 teachers. That means total of 32 persons have gone for the trip. Now let's calculate the transportation charges. Transportation charges for the trip Transportation charges is equal to distance both ways multiply by the rate. So the distance is 55 multiplied by 2 as it has to be both ways <sighs> multiply by 12 which is the rate and if you calculate this it comes out to be 110 multiplied by 12 and which is equal to 1320 rupees. In the question it is given that rupees 4280 have been spent on refreshments. So the total expenses made on the trip would be the transportation charges plus the refreshments that is equal to transportation charges is 1320 which we had calculated earlier plus refreshments and it will come out to be rupees 5600 Note that this amount has been spent by 32 persons. That means that for 32 persons, we have spent an amount of amount is equal to 5600 rupees implies for one person it should be equal to rupees 5600 divide by 32 on solving we will get rupees 175 and we can say that the cost per person of the trip is rupees 175 Let us start with the third part of the same question which says that the first stop is made at 22 kilometers from the school. So the first stop is made at 22 kilometers and we know that total distance from the school is 55 kilometers and in the question we have to find out the percentage of distance that has been traveled and whatever is left. So firstly let's find out percentage of distance traveled when they take the first stop that means 
they have covered 22 kilometers out of 55 kilometers and taken the first stop and since we have to find the percentage we will multiply it by 100 now let's solve it 11 2s are 22 11 5s are 55 5 20s are 100 that means 40 percent 2 into 20 is 40 so that means 40 percent of the distance was traveled when they took the first stop to calculate the remaining distance in terms of percentage percentage of distance remaining is 100 minus 40 that is equal to 60 percent so therefore the percent of distance left to be traveled is 60 percent